192 years ago, the Scottish deputies left here for the last time as the last Scottish Parliament was dissolved. An end to an old sang it was described as at the time. Well, today, just a couple of hundred yards up the road, they're striking up a new tune. The man destined to lead the Parliament arrived to see the settled will of the Scottish people finally instituted without knowing the composition of the new government. Uh, it's uh, an ambition for many of us um, held and fought for over many years and I'm thrilled to see it coming to fruition. Talks between the Liberal Democrats and Labour about forming a coalition were on hold as the Parliament met to open a new chapter in Scottish history. I, Donald Campbell Dewar. Inside the thoroughly modern chamber in an up-to-date business-like ceremony, MSPs swore a rather traditional oath of allegiance to the Queen, although many did so under protest. As a, an SNP parliamentary group, our primary loyalty is with the people of Scotland, uh, in line with the Scottish constitutional tradition of the sovereignty of the people. I therefore take this affirmation under protest. Committed Republican Scottish Socialist Party I, leader Tommy, Tommy Sheridan, Sheridan struck I, Tommy a Sheridan characteristically defiant pose. And, and then the oldest member of the world's youngest the legislature to was to able to declare the Parliament want to open start for with business. I have words I've always wanted either to say or hear someone say. The Scottish Parliament adjourned on the 25th day of March in the year 1707 is hereby reconvened.